curious about something? No one's ever asked me over for tea before. Seems I'm a bit excited. So this is where they kept you, huh? How long were you in here? Um, I'm not sure. Really long, or kind of short. Uh, it was a blur. What would have happened to you if we hadn't come along? The big man always used to say that I should try and get along with the villagers, so that maybe I could live here one day. I'm sure he meant well by that, but you can't just ask a kid to live alone in some strange town. There sure are a lot of barrels here. Don't drink from those! They're full of strange juice that makes you dizzy. This is porridge wine. It's a type of liquor that glows in the dark. The longer it ferments, the mellower the taste and glow. After ten years, it'll shimmer like the moon. That's why they call the top shelf version Moonlight. You sure know a lot about it. Naturally. Hmm... This flavor certainly is deep and rich. This may be one of the best things I've had. Hey, that's stealing. Don't worry. Something like this won't faze me. Oh, nothing bad's gonna... Oh! oh! But it just did. I just said it makes you dizzy. It went straight to her legs. I never would have guessed that was Maxwell's weakness. Look at all these barrels! Hey! Don't drink from those! They're full of strange juice that makes you dizzy. going to Femmont to save your captured friends, right? We heard from Jude. Friends? 
Oh, you mean the four. They're not your friends? Well, in a sense, they do help me accomplish the things I need to do. Then they're your friends, just like us. We'll help you too. Everybody get a hand in. <laughs> to think I'd find myself on the receiving end of encouragement. shoulder.
Wow, you live here? Russia go soldiers. Wait. Who was that? Have our guests departed? Welcome back. Brought your friends, I see. Klein! Let me introduce you. Oh, um, I never got their names. I hear you came to my sister's aid. I'm Klein Cheryl. I'm Drissel's older brother, as you've no doubt guessed. Lord Klein is the governor here in Sheraton. Really? How rude of us to keep you waiting outside. Please, let's continue our conversation in comfort. I see. So you protected my sister from wasting her money on worthless trinkets again. It's not worthless. Besides, I got a good deal and made some new friends in the bargain. Wahey! <laughs> Rowan, please look after our guests. It would be my pleasure, sir. I have some matters to attend to, if you will excuse me. I've got to run too. Huh? Nature calls. I better leave now before things get messy. So you're on some great journey, right? You simply must tell me all about your travels. Mm, well, um... I've never even been out of this town. I want to hear all about the faraway places you've been. I've never been outside either. But then... Ellie became pals with Jude and everyone. We crossed mighty oceans and explored forbidden forests. We saw giant waves and toadstools that made everyone cry. You actually sailed across the sea, Ellie? I've never even seen the sea before. What was it like? It's vast and wild, teeming with dangerous creatures. There are giant octopuses pretending to be rocks. Rock octopuses? You don't say! And fish and eels and clams. Oh, I've seen clams. Uh, the shells anyway. They sell shell jewelry in the shops in the plaza. It's all so gorgeous. That sounds really nice. I'll give you one of my favorite pieces as a present next time. As a token of our friendship. Icky clams turned into pretty jewelry? This I gotta see! So giving presents is a way to establish friendship? Uh, why yes. To the giver, a present is a symbol of trust. To the receiver, a present serves as a warm reminder of our friendship. And getting stuff for free doesn't stink either. I see. <laughs> it would appear my young mistress has made some very good friends. Make yourselves at home. Help yourself to tea and treats.
You can't take your eyes off these things. You that into antiques? No, not particularly. I'm simply fascinated by the illogical proclivity of humans to apply an abstract concept like beauty to everyday objects. That's, a uh, pretty deep. I've also been thinking about our current predicament. There's something to be said for hiding in plain sight, but we should not tarry here for long. Yeah, we shouldn't overextend our stay. They've been so good to us already. I have been in the service of Lord Klein for about two years now. He is a fine ruler, despite his youth. He believes in freedom and equality for his people. If he has any real flaw, it's that he spoils Lady Dressel too much. I'm afraid I can't permit you to leave just yet, now that I know it was you who infiltrated the laboratory in Fenmont. What are you talking about? Save your denials. Alvin told me everything. She did what? Now what? Will you hand us over to the military? No. I want to know what you saw in that facility. Rashigal has undergone dramatic changes ever since Noctigal exceeded the throne. Even those of us in the six ruling houses are not told of his activities. The military is holding people captive and draining their mana to develop a new weapon. Human experimentation? He would go that far? I'd like to believe you're lying, but all the pieces fit. So Nautical is the man behind the experiments? The King of Rashigal? He would have to be. <sighs> it's hardly hospitable to keep Drissel's friends captive in our home. But you must leave this city at once. Thank you, Lord Klein.
Dressel's house sure is huge. Yeah, this might be bigger than my entire school. There's a bunch of kids in Sheraton's Plaza. Looks like some of them are your age. Why not try to talk to them? They're just children. Go on and ask them. Um, excuse me. What's the cute pink thing you're talking about? You are spying on us. We have nothing to say to spies. Super nothing. Just give us a quick peek. Whoa, that weird thing talked. What is it? Like, super weird. He's not weird. He's Tipo. Tipo? Well, whatever. I'm still not going to show the cute pink thing to someone like you. Fine. Ah, phooey. But if you can show us that you love the color pink and prove you're a true pinkist, I may consider it. Prove I'm a pinkist? How? bringing us super rare things that are pink. For example, start with the peach berry blossom. Bring us one of those, then we'll talk. <laughs> we'll 